All right, guys, so welcome back to another video. So today, what I want to show you is um, how to make your Mibo Plus unit extremely accurate. There's a few things that you can follow, a few guidelines that uh, a lot of people don't know about, uh, including myself, uh, especially when you first get the unit. So stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing you need is uh, a Sharpie, one of these uh, markers and you got to determine where you want to hit the balls so you got to find a good spot like for instance here is a mat and but there's different spots on the mat on the mat that are some are good some are bad so you kind of uh pick a good spot on the on the mat for instance i'm going to pick this spot right here because i know here i just tested it before and it's pretty good to hit shots so you grab your your marker and you draw a little dot on okay so you make a dot like that a marking and this is going to be where you're going to put the ball right here. Lift the ball in there, and now we grab your uh, you grab your unit, and you put it back. Because uh, um, I tell you what, a lot of people, including myself, uh, the unit. If you set it back there, you can put the ball even here or here, and there like that, anywhere here, and you will still get a pretty good reading. If you want to get a more accurate reading, especially if you know spin axis, uh, if you want to know where the ball is starting, left or right. If you think about it, how in the world are you going to know if the ball start left or right? If your line, your target line is right here and you already put in the ball right here or you put in the ball right here. So uh, it's going to make it a little more difficult to get the uh, accurate readings, especially when you're talking about your angle of attack, your spin axis, your horizontal launch. OK, so we're going to measure it. Uh, if you don't have anything to measure uh, on your iPhone or on your Android device, you can just go in here and they have a measuring uh, a tool that you can use. So basically you go where the or uh, well, you put your um, your dot right there. You simply measure it from there and then you go back to your unit. And let's say here is 265. 265 so make sure you double check it and right here is supposed to be 265 get the iPad or whatever you have go into settings go into the radar settings select obviously we're outdoors so select outdoor and there you go into the uh, radar setup and then this is where it gets uh, important you go into the target alignment and you see that and you can see that the ball is not aligned uh, Put the put the ball over here in the, in the little marker, and uh, it's not aligned properly. So you will go back to the unit, and then you align it precisely. Maybe that's that's perfect right there. So as you can see, now this is the target line. So this is going to make a huge difference when you get uh, we start hitting shots because uh, you got the exact line right here. And so it was 260, 2.6. So we go and we put 2.6 meters, 2.5, 2.6 meters. And uh, on the uh, T surface height, you put a zero if it's flat. If you have a setup like this at home or, or even at the range where there's a little height, then you go in that setting and you put exactly what the distance is here. So. Uh, it goes for one centimeter at a time so this is about two centimeters you can actually measure it to get the precise uh, size and you put that in there that way the unit knows that there is a little uh, height between the ball and the radar so that's very important okay so if you want to make it even more precise what you can do is uh, grab a drill stick and try to put your line in there so you can uh, play with it you know that your line is going to be like this so something like this because a lot of times um, it feels like you have the right line, but you don't. So look at the, uh, the screen right here. And see right there, it's way off. It's way to the right. So I got to get more to this way. Put it back here. Let's see if that's better. I'm going to check. And that is perfect. So I know that my line is there. Now, obviously, that may bother you. So you can simply just uh either put it down all the way or like make it like this maybe mm -hmm. and if you're uncomfortable with this you can just set it down like this but at least you know that that's your line that's the line that you're gonna follow 
Okay, so now you're ready to go. It's, uh, it's gonna be much more reliable. You see your line right there. And you can hit better shots this way. That's pretty good. And all your numbers are gonna be much, much better, including the angle of attack which is uh, something that a lot of people uh, uh, complain about it. But I've, uh, in my case, I realized that when I made this change, it was much more accurate. Okay, so another thing that I find out with a unit, uh, if it's in direct sunlight, like the light is coming from there, and uh, if I have it in direct sunlight, sometimes it won't read. So all you have to do is put like, in my case, a little chair right there, and I put my smash bag here, if, however, you still have problems with the sunlight, uh, sometimes, you know, some units won't be affected, but I notice that on mine, sometimes if it's too bright, like today, then you're going to get some misreadings. Uh, actually, not misreadings, it's not going to read it sometimes. So you can either put that or uh, ideally just go into a shaded area like this. As long as everything is the same lightning, like where the unit is and where you're hitting from, then you're fine. Okay, so in this case, you got a little uh, height. It's about two centimeters. So all you gotta do is just go in here and tell it that you have two centimeters and that's it. Then you're ready to go. Okay, so I got my unit. I have the exact measurement to the ball where I put a little marking right there. And then I got my target line right there. So now, the you know, I can, uh, I can either start the ball to the right or to the left and the unit will be precise. So let's do a little test. I'm going to try to start it to the right and see. Uh, hopefully I won't hit it, but. Yeah, I started to the right, but I stayed to the right. So and it says uh, horizontal launch 2.6. So that was correct. I'm going to see if I can if I start to the left. Let's see what it says. Okay, this is way to the left. And yep, yeah, it says 6.6 .6 to the left. So that was way to the left. That was like a hook. So, but it's really accurate. That's what I'm saying. If I were to hit it right on the spot, it should be zero. So I'm gonna try to hit it. Okay, this was very close, very close. And that one says 0.5 left. So as you can see, that's, that's extremely accurate. Okay guys, so that was it for the video. So remember, uh, if you are out in the sun, from my experience, it's better to do it uh, all shade. Uh, you will get, uh, you're gonna get readings on every single shot. Otherwise, you're gonna run into some issues where the unit might not read all the shots. So like here, just stay in that shaded area, you get perfect results. Remember about the height. So to be honest, you can actually measure it and get the exact uh, distance, how high it is. And then also measure your distance. It's gonna be, uh, you're gonna get better readings, far more better readings that, than just hitting the ball, because you can, you can just hit the ball, but uh, if you're working on something specific like your, uh, your draws, your fades, you want to know exactly how far to the right or left you're going to end up the ball. I suggest you're doing that. Align it perfectly. I know it's time consuming at the beginning. It may take five minutes to do all this, put your target line, but I think, in my opinion, that's going to give you a better range session. You're going to have better numbers where you can look at them later and, and uh, it's going to be really accurate. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.